kind of a big deal. Even while I'm under the weather a little bit, every time I have to go to some event where I plan to do something really fun, I end up being sick. You gotta give it to me. Like, the weather in the morning is like 38, and then in the afternoon it's 65. I just don't get it. So today we're doing a road trip to downtown Manhattan to the Jaws show, which is the jewelry and watches trade show. I believe it's considered a trade show. Open to the public, as well as press, etc., etc. And obviously there's gonna be jewelers and watch dealers present. Obviously you're not gonna get the best deals unless you're an actual dealer and got a dealer's license and have those connections or whatever, but hopefully we'll get to record some pieces. But to be honest with you, I don't even know if they allow cameras in this place. Other than, you know, I know Roman and Luxury Bazaar team are gonna be there for sure. I'm definitely gonna swing by their booth, say what's up. But I don't know how other jewelers, especially since I'm an unknown, are gonna feel about a camera. I have my big camera and I might just shoot some content on my phone depending on how security is gonna be. Imagine a jewelry and watch show, security is gonna be a little tight. And honestly, the purpose of me going to the show is one, for content, that's really the main reason, but two is to put my face out there because technically, inadvertently, I'm in the jewelry space whether I wanna be or not. I'm not a jeweler and I don't sell jewelry like at that level, like, you know, I do little deals here and there, but I'm not a jewelry salesman per se, but the more contacts you make in this business, the better and who knows what opportunities it presents itself. At the end of the day, I'm not here to shut a door or a window to a beautiful opportunity as long as the vibes and energies are great. But we all know the number one reason that I'm going is for content. Content is king. I am a content creator. This is what I do and this is what I love doing. So hopefully it doesn't go to shambles. My videographer is gonna meet me over there. So that's gonna be absolutely amazing. I'm not gonna be holding much of a camera. Maybe I'll do some shots myself on the phone. Again, it all depends. But we're on our way to spend another $100 on parking today. And I'm gonna cover my videographer's parking as well. So there's just, you know, it's gonna be a day of spending money. Now I'm not anticipating buying anything, but if like a crazy deal presents itself, I might, who knows? Maybe not for me, maybe for my chick. I, I just don't know. Maybe something for the channel. Anything that I buy will solely be for the purpose of making content. So you guys stay tuned, enjoy the rides, and I hope I bring you some really fun content, at least something a little bit different from the norm, and let's go. go on the way to the watch and jewelry trade show. Let's see if we bump into any pieces and hopefully spend some money. Let's go. is not too crazy let's see if we bump into anybody who recognizes up any possible deals and just window shop because i don't got money like that i know you don't either security completely shut us down but the first thing we're going to be greeted by is a nice glass sexual dick piece right at the entrance my, my boy pulled out his iphone and recorded subliminally so that's why you're going to see a huge white finger all over the screen while we're trying to subliminally record some pieces so we're walking through the jewelry and watch trade show showing you different pieces that may be or may not be interesting 
it was very difficult for him to actually record these pieces and get close to these counters because truly all eyes were watching and there really wasn't that many people there so it was really really obvious so we're just walking around trying to be all nonchalant we're kind of window shopping looking at the different booths and tables so this was a this was a display with a lot of vintage stuff in it very beautiful but it also had like some war medals and stuff like that and vintage pens which really didn't interest me like crazy but it was cool to watch and again it was a lot of vintagey pieces pins uh regal kind of jewelry wear there wasn't a ton of watches that i visually saw there was a lot more jewelry pieces and a lot of classical heavy femme pieces which obviously jewelry can potentially be through the trade show i did see the luxury bazaar team which of course i shot up and said what's up as the first person as you see me shaking hands with is adrian from luxury bazaar he gave me showed me love and he shook my boy's hand and he was like yo shoot over there say what's up to roman and roman spotted me and showed me some love as well we got shut down no cameras they saw me, they were like, fuck you, get out. It was a real disappointment. It wasn't that many urban jewelries. It was a lot of vintage and classical shit. And to be honest with you, not a lot caught my attention. The, the spot wasn't that big. I got to see Roman and the Luxury Bazaar team. I chopped it up with them for a little bit and that was dope to see him again. But honestly, it was kind of a letdown. Not just because I didn't get to record, but the shit there wasn't that crazy, to be honest with you. Like if you were gonna go buy your first luxury timepiece, probably at a discount you would have gotten something there but it was a lot of vintage big royalty type wedding pieces and they pretty much just told me to go fuck myself just like this guy dick What a life, what a mistake. But the fly gun holder, money folder, roller roller, star tag when it's time to call back. For the rough, rugged, and raw way, this nigga gay, it's a game, but he don't play. Hey. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse suite on top of my mom's crib. Hey. It's long since you never get in. It's long since you would think that you would. <laughs>